Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to the endings of Overlord, uh, ending 1, 2 and 3. Mm. And uh, if you guys are new here or have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video if you enjoy my reactions and share your opinions in the comments uh, comment section. And without uh, wasting any more time, I'll be starting the endings of Overlord. I'll be ranking them at the end. Uh, before that I'll be reacting to the videos then I'll be ranking them so let's get started okay so we'll be starting overlord ending number one this is also sung by Mythanroid and as you know I really like Mythanroid songs so let's get started Albert is freaky but in a good way uh, Mythanroid really, uh, I don't know, this type of song really suits this type of ending with Albedo because Mythanroid's voice is kind of mysterious and I don't know and Albedo fits that almost perfectly. Give me your love and passion. Oh boy. Ah, this song is. Kill it. Kill it. Oh boy. Boy, the way this, uh, the visuals of the endings are quite interesting as well. Because it really suits the ending. Albedo really suits the ending. So yeah, that was ending number one. Uh, from the beginning, I really like this ending as well because it's Mythanroid and... I really love Mythanroid and the funny thing is that uh, when I heard this ending, this was uh, ending of season 1, I really didn't know about Mythanroid because I don't think, I'm not sure if uh, ReZero aired when Overlord uh, season 1 was airing, I really can't remember but uh, I think I really didn't know about Mythanroid and afterwards when I found out that this was sung by Mythanroid, I was like, whoa, that's the reason I like it so much. So yeah, that was uh, uh, ending number one, and I'll be starting with ending number two. Okay, so let's get started with ending number three. This is also done by Mythanroid, and uh, let's get started. Oof, the starting is so kind of mellow and and. I really don't know what to say about this ending other than the fact that I really like it a lot because uh, it's kind of glitching out for <laughs> boy I really like this kind of things when endings kind of glitch out uh, that Doki Doki Literature Club kind of stuff uh, in No Game li No Life uh, the ending kind of did that and I was kind of freaked out <laughs> about that. Uh, the same with this one. Boy. This ending set is so good. Good, I the openings are definitely good, don't get me wrong, but the endings of Overlord are kind of I don't know, it's just extremely good. Well done and well. So yeah, that was it for ending number two. Uh, it was my myth and ride as well, so I loved it as well. Um, but which myth and ride ending I liked, I'll be saying that at the end after reacting to opening number three. 
So let's get started with opening number three. Oh, sorry, did I say opening ending number three? Okay, so we'll be starting with ending number three, and uh, this is not by Mithun Wright, but let's get started. Man, that. Boy, Ains. <laughs> okay, the uh, after watching season three, I this is a little bit. Uh, season three was a bit darker, and what can I say? Uh, I'll be saying. Uh, I'll be discussing that at the, up to the end. And here's Mr. Gilgamesh. After season 3's end, uh, people kind of reacted mixedly to Ainz's the stuff that happened. I'm not spoiling it, but some people kind of, I don't know, got mad at Ainz and some said that that's what he is about. He's an undead, an overlord. So... Okay, so that was Overlord ending number three, and I I'm kind of uh, hesitating between this one and number two, cause both are I really love both of them. So I'm sorry, I'm unable to rank ending number two and three. Both ending number and two and three gets the top spot, cause I'm unable to uh, choose between those two. Uh, because I really like this opening a lot and yeah and ending number one I'm sorry you're getting the second position uh, so yeah that was it for the rankings and uh, as I was saying um, after uh, Overlord ended season number three mm. after the stuff that happened I'm not spoiling it because I don't know if people have still not watched it or so so I'm not saying anything about that so mm. after the, uh, the stuff happened uh, you all know what happened uh, people kind of uh, broke out into two parts. Some said that uh, Ainz was an overall, so he is supposed to do stuff like that. And some people said that I did not expect this from Ainz, that is a protagonist from a story. Uh, let me get this straight. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Ainz kind of did the thing which was expected of him to do. He is an overlord. He is not a hero. He is not those kind of heroes who uh, saves the world or tries to do something like that. And uh, this is an isekai, isekai anime with kind of a bad guy. Not a bad guy, but kind of a guy who is who does things which are for his own good. That is, the things that he perceives as good, he does those things. So that doesn't mean that uh, in this... Uh, I really can't say anything because uh, it'd be spoiling. Uh, in this, uh, in season three, Ainz did the thing which he was supposed to do for himself and for uh, his uh, companions and his uh, what do you call the subordinates. He did the things, uh, things which uh, suited him as an overlord. So yeah, he, he as I said, he's kind of in a gray zone and he's neither good nor bad. He's kind of a guy who keeps to himself and does things which he thinks it's right or wrong. Uh, he is not, uh, what do you call, some kind of superhero or stuff like that. He's just a guy who mm, who is kind of bad but not as bad as some villains would be. I really don't know, uh, I'm, I'm saying this all uh, based on season 3, I really don't know what happens in the light novels so I don't know if I'm correct or not but uh, in my, uh, as I have studied Ainz, I don't think he's a bad guy. He is kind of a person who does things according to his own liking. He is an overlord, a king. 
a king does uh, stuff like that. So yeah, he's like that. Uh, so yeah, that was my uh, reaction to ending uh, one, two, three of Overlord. Uh, uh, if you guys liked it, well, like my reaction, press that like button and share your opinions in the comments. Subscribe if you still haven't, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video that I'll post in a few days or so. Uh, another opening reactions. Uh, until then, goodbye.